I wonder. You know, I could actually continue this park all the way. And just have it sort of wrangling along the road the whole way down. It could be a thing that we could do. But I don't think we need to worry about it just, just yet. Uh, I do want to think about having another park down here. Which... I might have been able to get away without doing a b-ball court and the, the small playground if I'd have done an actual park. But... World's longest park ever. <laughs> what would be the world's largest park? It'd have to be like a national forest, right? It'd have to be. Like some kind of enormous national park. Like Yellowstone or something like that. What does the internet say? World's largest park. Northeast Greenland National Park. That makes sense. According to three sources. Uh, it's the biggest national park in the world. The Its vast landscape sustains fascinating animals such as Arctic foxes, musk oxen, and polar bears. This national park is truly rugged and is home to less than 50 human inhabitants, uh, most of which are Inuit hunters from word that I can't pronounce according to Google according to wiki wiki oh, fuck me actually it is <laughs> whoa it's uh yeah it's pretty big check this fucker out yeah that's the national park there <laughs> this is Greenland and that's it um, although Greenland is often misrepresented, like when you look at a Mercator projection, oh wow, that's a fucking awesome looking iceberg. When you look at Iceland on the map, it usually looks enormous, but it's because of the map projection. Um, how big is it? Uh, Gronland's National Park. Cool. Um... 972,000 square kilometers or 375,000 square miles. Jesus. It's bigger than all but 29 of the world's 195 countries. Wow. That is um that is pretty crazy. That is um That's a park, huh? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely insane. Anyway. Now, apparently there's, yeah, less than 50 people living there. Population. Um, 400 sites see occasional summertime use. In 1986, the population of the park was 40. Uh, these 40 were involved in clean-up and close-out operations at mining exploration sites and soon left. Since then, censuses have recorded zero permanent human population. Recently, when, only 31 people or and about 110 dogs were present. Um, cool. So, the stations that they were at were Danaborg, headquarters of the Sirius Patrol. Ooh, that sounds fucking cool. Oh my god. Check out its crest. Why is this such cool stuff in the world? Huh? This is awesome. This reminds me of my family crest. Although my family crest has a hand holding a star. Like a ninja star. Um... A weather station, a military base, Station Nord, which means North Station. Um, summer only research station and Summit Camp, a research station on the Greenland Ice Sheet, which, um, yeah, looks cozy. That's pretty insane. Anyway, what were we doing? That's right, playing a video game. <laughs> Ace Neven. Um, just like the GPS we uh, location in Western Australia, formerly known as Wittenoom. Um, I'm 
this series. I get it. I see what you did there, and I like it. Um, let's get some more housing. Also, I suddenly feel like I need to sneeze. But I don't want to sneeze. But I still feel like I'm going to sneeze. that feeling. <clears throat> um, Alright, let's get a little bit more going on like this. Let's have this guy come all the way down to Blam and then I guess Kachonk and Kapowie? Yes. Definitely Kachonk and Kapowie. Uh, are these trees protected? They are. And leave that row of trees. I have decreed it. And so it shall be. I also would like to start using paths. Uh, oh, a park maintenance shop would be not a bad idea. Can I remember where the paths are? Um, ooh. Soccer. Football pitch. <gasps> golf. We've got the golf course shit in here. Oh, fuck. Hold the phone. Hold up. Wait on. Fucking golf course peninsula. That's what's happening. Or in here. But down here, this feels... But it almost feels like a golf course already, right? Like, if we... The only problem is that these are fucking big. So I could, like, start here. And then wrangle it down and around the peninsula and then back again. I think we kind of have to now, right? Yeah, we have to. It's happening. Everybody loved that. Okay, and then hole number two can go this way. I'm sure that there's a way that this, uh, this golf course is supposed to go, but I haven't figured it out yet. Then number three can go, I guess, like this. Wait, is that the T or is that the hole? That's the hole. So I've done it the wrong way around right from the beginning. And we're going to need to buy up this tile. Why am I doing this? Do we, do we hold number two, you say? Oh, wow. um, <clears throat> let's start again. So I'm going to get straight stuck into hole one. As No, don't. No. Astro, stop. Um... Was there another asset that went with... There's a practice screen. We could just have one of those. You know what? We can have one of those, like... Anywhere. Because look at the fucking bloom size on this. Jesus Christ. Actually... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. I've got it. Oh, Jesus. It's... it's here we go. This is, this is it. Alright, we're going to start here. Uh, we're going to run along the road. And then we're going to have number two, so that it just sort of does that. And then number three, we're going to have to... Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Like, I guess like that. And then four can be... We'll just do nine holes. Four can go that way. Five is a little wee one. Just a little tiny hole. There we go. Uh, number six. Ooh, this is a big hole. Uh, so let's have number six go like... I guess like this. And then seven can go that to the tip. Eight can come back uh, this away. 
Fuck, the trees didn't disappear. I have to go through and individually remove the trees. And then hole number nine can be like that. So that it comes back to near the road. We'll leave all of these ones. Let's have a practice green somewhere. Just there. And a driving range that can go <coughs> I'm gonna cough actually. Like that question mark. fucking COVID. Uh, Alright, I don't have COVID. <clears throat> I did have a, a, a bit of a scare the other day, as a matter of fact. Not a scare scare, but um, I got informed a location that I was at had a, a case come through. Um, so I got the, you know, I, I got pinged. I got TTIQ'd or whatever the fuck it is. But, so let's pretend that this whole place has like they put the piping under all of these, and that's fine. Um, good. Are you not? No, we are. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, they, they sent me a message and said, hey, you may have been exposed. Please monitor, monitor for symptoms. Um, and so I, I did. I, I monitored. Uh, and nothing happened. Because the place that I was at, um, well, it was a cafe. Leave those two trees. Let's... Uh, just pull these trees out of this because you don't have trees like on the court, the, the fairway. That's, don't be stupid. Um, but yeah, it was a cafe that I went to and I didn't go into the cafe. Um, I checked in using the QR code, but I was standing outside to pick up my lunch. So, should be fine. But, you know, I will, I will comply with the things and monitor for what's it's in. Where is... Here we go. We want to move number nine over a little bit. There we go. That's a shitter of a hole, right? Because you got to tee off from where? Here? Through these trees. And then uh, just drop it straight into the hole there. What's this? City. Uh, sorry, golf with Astro. <laughs> um, why am I doing this? Do we, do we hold number two, you say? Oh, I hold. Um, <clears throat> and let's start again. So I'm going to get straight stuck into hole one. There you go. <clears throat> no, don't. No. Wait. Astro, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Why wait. am I doing this? Wait, we where did it go? Two, you say, oh, Wait, um, hang on. <clears throat> let's start again. God damn it. I'm going to get straight stuck into hole one. Where did it go? Okay, we, no, we don't need no, to be hearing no, this anymore. Astro, stop. stop, go away. Okay. One Astro is plenty enough. Um, okay, so... Here's the other thing I want to do through here. So I've got my thingy doobly, which is the forest brush here. And I'm going to create a new brush with... And let's look at the workshop entry for this map. Which is... Where, exactly? Where did that go? Um, no? Did I close it? Oh, no, there it is. Okay, because the map maker was kind enough to include... Have the practice greens on the island? Hey, fuck, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. In fact, it's not a bad idea to have practice screens everywhere because they're actually a really good park. Okay, so this has Alder, Corsican Pine number one. It has Giant Redwood, Redwood number one, yes. Uh, uh, small Beach, yeah, mm -hmm. we win. We have this Small Beach, yes. And you... Hey, you. And we're going to call this a brush. 
for st stuff. Cool. And now, theoretically, if I go... It looks the same as everything else. No. Uh... Alright, cool. So I guess we don't change the size of the brush. Cool. Um, cool. Brush options. Ah, see. You may have to do it here. Boop. Boop. A little bit. Just a little bit here. A little bit. A little bit. So I guess a little bit of trees. To make the golf course feel as it is uh, beautiful and uh, well at all. Maybe we have, uh, how you say, a little bit of trees through here. Oh, my, my God. It is, uh, how you say, racist. I mean, beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. So, we'll have a little bit more through there. Um, just, just fill this shit in, right? So, this can be like our... Au naturel, the way it was envisioned by the big guy upstairs, the golf course. A little, doop, a little boop, a boop. A little bit there. A little bit here. And then I think we could probably... get ready to uh, carry on because oh man ain't that party ain't that party uh, oh well, I didn't even notice the the uh, distancy guys on that <clears throat> distancy guys that's a technical term okay cool so I mean I'm pretty pretty happy with how this town's starting to take shape. The only thing that I would like to add is a bridge and then build out some housing on this crescent moon shaped island. I feel like that'd be party. And actually, here's a thought. I've got this lovely um this lovely thing going on here. Check it. What I want is like an extra small two-lane alley. <sighs> Maybe. With grass or trees. So we get to them at, f at 4,400, right? The Isle of Moon Crescent Worshippers. Oh. All right, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to have a dirt road. That dirt road's going to come off of here. And I'm going to be very careful. Very careful. And this is going to follow the riverbank. don't want it to dip too down. Uh, too, ah, I see. No, that's not what I wanted. That's exactly the opposite of... Is it, no, it's, it's okay. Is it? Is it okay? Does that look weird? Does that... Mm, what do you guys think? Does it look odd? Should I reverse my decision on this? Because what I'm thinking is we can have some houses up on this... Uh, on this side. Do it as in leave it or do it as in destroy it and start over. I think it looks okay. Like there's just a little bit of a berm leading down to the river. Okay. So let's keep it then. Maybe I'll pull it back a little bit further on this side. Yep. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then these railway tracks here are a thing that I completely forgot about. Stick some high density on there. Could do. Alright, let's just let's just go like Kismlam. Kismlam? That's a word. Um, and then we'll do with the doobly do, and we'll have a pipey pipe. Pipey pipe. Yes. We're gonna lay some pipe. Um, technically, you don't need it through there, but we're putting it in anyway. And it can come out through here. I've just realised the housing pricing out here is going to be phenomenal. Uh, the hill can add easy body disposals rather than toilets. See, we're solving problems here today. Absolutely. All the people, and this can be, this can, look, we're going to have our first new district. Um, and let's have this, oh, uh, let's have this be this whole section here. Um, yep. Strawberry Park? No, it's... Uh, murder golf park done okay perfect I I, I for one it is it hailing <laughs> fucking Melbourne <laughs> I love Melbourne oh I miss it uh, yep November almost into uh, into summer And it's hailing. And was it like 11 degrees there yesterday? Probably about the same today. It's, it's just... That's just what Melbourne do. Look at this. This is going to be phenomenal, friends. Wouldn't you love to live here? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be awesome? Down here in Murder Golf Park. Without electricity... Uh, that's alright, hang on, hang on. Let's just zone in this, and this, and that. And so this will stay as a dirt road for now, but we will upgrade it later on. So that these people can have something a little bit nicer. It's nine degrees, <laughs> what? <laughs> Though having said that, it's like 20 degrees here in Sydney today. Which is... is utterly pleasant but it seems so odd that it's so cool right now like the weather patterns are doing funky things all this subtly winds that are coming through I'm not complaining not in the slightest it was really great getting out today wasn't murder golf featured in GTA 5 I don't know Good old La Nina. So, here we have them. These beautiful bungalows. Hanging out on the river. And then you can, like, look out the back of the house. And ignore that, like, weird lump there. And boom. Golf course. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty stoked with this. Pretty, pretty stoked. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'd be pretty chill having a house like this. The big old river flowing by. Even if it does have a big shit bank on it. You know. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I've just realized that there's one thing that we haven't actually built. Oh, and my brush options are stuck open again. Oh, well. Um, there's one thing that we haven't actually needed to build yet. Oh, I guess we're not at that point yet where we don't need to build um, a cemetery. So that's cool. Somehow dodge that bullet. Um, I guess it's because we are building this town very, very slowly. No health here for the dead? Exactly. Um, careful of mozzies. Well, that is that is definitely a downside of living next to a river. But it is a fast-flowing river. So logically, the risk of that would be not as grand. And also, we've established in our headcanon that this is in uh, northern Tasmania. Uh, and
and mozzies in northern Tasmania is generally not something you worry about. Or at least, I don't ever remember having to worry about mozzies down there. But I don't generally have to worry about mozzies, period. They don't seem to like my blood. There's probably too much alcohol in it. Um, okay, so, speaking of school row, wouldn't it be nice if we actually started thinking about education in this town? And I think we can start here. And we can have another one back here. Again, we'll need to upgrade that little road there. So that should get us started for elementary education. Do we go straight into high school as well? I feel like yes. I feel like we can have that one here so it's central as well. <coughs> um, and now we're broke. So cool. Well done. Um, we've spent all of our money basically building a fucking golf course, haven't we? Yeah, no, I am pretty sure that Hobart's and, and Tassie in general is just a bit too cold to have any mosquitoes. Um, hang on one cotton pick in a minute. I want to have this and this and then a little tiny couple of houses along here. Little one bedroom shacks. Well, maybe they would be. Maybe they would. These little individual ones be like holiday shacks. That's a possibility. Um, which is, again, talking about Tassie, shacks are a thing. Everyone's got a shack. Somewhere remote. Not everyone, obviously. All of my, you know, aunts and uncles and shit have one. And family friends, and my cousins have one. Um, up near Forth. But I'm not sure. Shacks for the golf course employees, yeah. Oh, Boomtown. There's our, our next expansion point. We get some transportation. We can do trams. We can do walking tours. We can do a boost. I think that's how that's pronounced. Um, and we can do ore, um, which is cool. Plus additional roads. Most of them are highways that I don't care about and a viaduct. Sick. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Little tiny houses. The Dean residence. The Spruce residence. The Vermont residence. The Olive residence. That's what we want. And because we've left a gap between them, what we can do is go... Uh... A... Oh, yes. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, good, good, good. Um... Mm. Blue? Mm. Mm. It's a little bit... I like it a little bit thicker. Maybe a little, a little bit of a, a touch on the tip there as well. Cool. And that one looks like it's being flooded. I have just fucked these people's view. But you know what? Fuck them. Alright, cool. So, Murder Golf Park, I think, is uh, good to go. We can just say, just let it, let it roll and do its thing. Um, our shacks tend to get raided by the government every few years. Homegrown terrorists. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what shacks are for. Exactly, Jeff. For us, it was, you know, shacks were always a place to, to go for, you know, when you wanted to go and go to the beach and that sort of thing. and Or we used to go water skiing and that sort of thing. And there was shacks involved. 
Just a couple more trees here and there. Just a couple. There we go. I would love to have a shack. But... I don't think that's happening anytime soon. And I think that, yeah, for me, the shack would be definitely East Coast Tassie. Definitely. It's such a beautiful place to be. Sorry, give me a second. What? <laughs> right. What else do we need to do in this town? We need some more commercial. And I think in this sort of school rose central area here, this might be a good place for it. Um, and like I said, I want to preserve the tree line that's here. So we'll just snap these like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like this. This would be great because then we can have like a little tuck shop that the kids can go and get their five cent sweets from. God, those were the days. And... Like that. Still have fond memories of the little tuck shop, corner shop that was down the road from my primary school. Um, because it had a double dragon cab... Was it a double dragon cabinet? It, it, it had an arcade cabinet of some description. And uh, yeah, so I used to go down there before school every day and play on that cabinet as long as I possibly could. And then one day, when I had been fluffing around and enjoying myself, I then realized that I was running late. I think I was in year six at the time. I realized that I was running late and that school, the you know, the bell was about to ring. And so I ran out of the, uh, uh, out of the shop and ran straight across the road and this there was a car on the way and I just like legged it it was it was a crossing but I just fucking legged it straight out into the road without looking and uh yeah the car basically had to lean on the anchors very hard and screech to a halt um yeah it was there was a, a moment of like holy fuck that was silly <sighs> Two for one cent lollies? Oh, yeah. I've had those with the dice. And the boxes were like just a box open and it was full of lollies. And then they'd put it all into a little paper bag for you. That'll be 20 cents, please. Yeah. Those were the dice. There are still a few shops about that have that sort of thing going on, which I kind of like. I wonder. Hang on a second. Can I do a little bit of softening? Okay. Um, there we go. Just, just to smooth out behind these people's houses. Don't care too much at the front. That is fine. But just to like make that a little bit easier. That's better. Maybe a little bit here as well. Leave that. And... Yeah. Alright. Perfect. Perfection. Um... Hi. I might go for a cheeky little break and grab myself a refill of coffee and water. Um, 
but I shall return in, you know, five minutes or so. Back soon, friends.